Why did you choose the University of Queensland? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, so... Isn't it your turn? It is. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we cut? Hi guys, my name is Alex. Uh, I'm professor of electrical engineering and I'll be talking with Tony about electrical engineering today. Okay, so we are given some questions and the first one says, why did you choose the University of Queensland? The reason I chose UQ was when I had to pick the university, UQ was the hardest to get into and UQ is the top rated university in Queensland, so it's pretty much a no-brainer, like it has to be UQ. That's a, that's a good answer, I actually always look for what is the hardest thing to do and yeah. then you go for it. Um, question to you sir is, what is electrical engineering? Well if you look at the, the explanation that uh, IEEE, which is the biggest professional society of electrical engineers has, uh, it says it's a engineering discipline that deals with electrons, electronics and electromagnetic waves. But um, it all started with power engineering in the 19th century, but now it has uh, many uh, sub-disciplines including electronics, uh, microelectronics, uh, telecommunications, control, uh, signal processing um, and transdisciplinary uh, things like biomedical engineering and it's also very much in demand in mining, uh, civil. So electrical engineering is really, really everywhere. Everything. Now that we know what electrical engineering is, why did you decide to do electrical engineering? You told me because it was hard, but yeah. it must be something more. Um, so the reason I decided to do electrical engineering was I think Iron Man was my favorite superhero. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of, hey, like that's going to be a lot of electrical. But got into uni, realized mechatronics also plays a big part in that. Um, but more importantly, sustainability was a big focus. Um, it, like renewable energy, all of that stuff was big while I was coming into uni. So electrical engineering is what I decided to do based on all of those factors. Okay, so you touched on many of the modern aspects of electrical engineering, where electrical engineering branches out to other engineering disciplines and then they work together. Yeah, so like you said, the versatility or diversity it options is. at the end was good. Um, so, considering how diverse and versatile the whole thing is, who do you think should study electrical engineering? See, that's, uh, that's a hard question. Uh, um, and usually uh, you would say because uh, jobs are plenty, because uh, salaries are very good. Uh, but uh, I remember when I was choosing, I was looking uh, for something that's cool, that's interesting, uh, that has future. And uh, uh, I think if, uh, if you go for something that you really love, you'll always be a success. So uh, you really need to like uh, maths and physics. Um, you need to have interest in uh, uh, electrical systems or programming. And if you really like that, electrical engineering is uh, your profession. But also it's good to know that uh, salaries are better than average <laughs> and that there are plenty of jobs in electrical engineering. Okay, so um, you are almost through with your degree. What did you like about it? I definitely like the fact that it was hard. Doing a hard assignment and coming through at the end and finishing it was very rewarding. I think the harder the challenge, the more fruitful getting the result at the end was. Um, but also, with what I was taught at UQ, there was a lot of opportunities with tinkering and trying to make my own little things in, in at home and play with things. So I was able to use a lot of stuff that I learned and make things, which was very interesting. Um, so question again is, can you do a major in electrical engineering? And if so, what are the options? You can, and uh, we do have a couple of uh, formal uh, majors, but we have a range of informal uh, specialization that you can essentially self-select by uh, selecting your, uh, your electives. So we, um, we definitely have strengths in uh, power engineering, we have strength in biomedical engineering, uh, microwave and photonic engineering, which is about telecommunications, uh, but we have formal majors in uh, biomedical and uh, computer engineering. So if you, if you want to have a locked-in uh, set of uh, courses that well define your specialization or sub-discipline, you can do it, but we have vast uh, range of options which can be done through uh, the flexibility of our electrical engineering degree and by self-selecting courses that will lead you into a particular specialization. Having said that, uh, our compulsory core is such that you can always change 
later on. Yeah. Uh, so if you decide to change your career, which most of you will at certain stage, you can. I think that's, the, that's, the, that's one of the best parts of electrical engineering degree, that it has a very uh, solid core, which is not large, uh, so you can change your career later on if you decide. What career opportunities are there doing electrical engineering? I think you can do just about uh, anything and uh, most engineers start, start as uh, design engineers mm -hmm. uh, or uh, they do project management and then uh, usually they will move on into advisory, managerial roles and finally into uh, executive roles, some of them. So you can have a very uh, varied uh, career progression and um, quite a few Large uh, companies have CEOs that are electrical engineers, including uh, IBM, Texas Instruments, uh, General Motors, Amazon, yeah. uh, Microsoft. So they're all electrical engineers, but uh, also you have electrical engineers amongst uh, leading politicians and uh, all the way uh, up to, to Rowan Atkinson, who became a comedian after doing electrical engineering at Cambridge. So uh, you, can do, you can do whatever you want uh, with that degree. Uh, if you were talking to high school students, what would you tell them about electrical engineering, Tony? I think one of the things I'd say is talk to people who are already at uni. And if you go to open days and things like that, talk to student volunteers. So one of the things I remember from before I started uni was talking to some people who did UQ racing and we had a really good chat. And that was basically one of the deciding factors of going electrical as opposed to software. Yeah, well, something that I really like about our program is that uh, we do have a lot of practical components and uh, uh, we have a solid stream of projects uh, from the first year all the way yeah. to the fourth year and I think uh, I've seen quite a few universities around the world in Asia, in Europe, in the US and uh, I think we are one of the very best in combining solid uh, um, theory uh, on which we build using our practical courses and we really put a lot of focus on that. So I think I think uh, that that's where the fun comes, uh, yeah. not, not just in the, in the background. Yeah.